The trailer classrooms at PS85, the Judge Charles Vallone School in Astoria, will soon be replaced by a new state-of-the-art school annex. Councilmember Costa Costantinidis announced on April 25th during a press conference held on the premises of PS85. In making the announcement, the councilman was joined by other local officials, members of the Department of Education, the School Construction Authority, community leaders, and PS85 school officials and teachers. Removing the trailers, which for over 20 years have served as temporary classrooms at PS85, fulfills the pledge Councilmember Costantinidis made back in 2014 when he was first elected to office to replace all classroom trailers in his 22nd district with actual school facilities. Costantinidis announced in October 2017 through a partnership with Borough President Melinda Katz and the School Construction Authority headed by Lorraine Grillo that modular building at PS2 in East Elmhurst will be replaced with a permanent facility. Earlier in the year, Gustandinidis, Katz, and Grillo announced that 11 trailers at PS 151 in Woodside would also close. No longer will any child in this council district have to shiver through a math lesson uh, with his or her coat on or suffer through hot temperatures in one of these trailers. Mr. Costantinidis stressed as he also thanked his partners in the Department of Education, the School Construction Authority, and the dedicated parents for helping him, as he said, reach his goal to finally remove all school trailers in his 22nd council district. Lorraine Grillo, President and Chief Executive Officer of the New York City School Construction Authority, SCA for short, who is leading the construction of the new school annex at PS85, in her brief remarks noted that, quote, today demonstrates how strong partnerships with local leaders, parents, and community members can enhance our children's learning environment and prepare them for success. Ms. Grillo also said that as part of her agency's commitment to remove all trailer units across the city, 94 have already been removed in Queens and an additional 31 have been identified for removal. Welcoming this new accomplishment for the 22nd Council District, Senate Deputy Leader Michael Gennari said, quote, there are few things as important as providing our children the space they need to learn and get on the path towards a more successful future. I'm glad the students at PS85 will now have the chance, but there is more to be done. Let's keep working, end quote. Remarks were also offered by Assemblymember Aravela Simotas, Dr. Philip uh, Composto, Superintendent of School District 30, the Principal of PS85, and Gordon Chang, and Marie Torniali, Chair of Community Board 1 in Queens. All speakers expressed their utmost uh, satisfaction for the construction of the new uh, school annex at PS85, which will adequately accommodate the needs of students to study and learn in a proper environment. Commissioner, yes. exciting day for you today. Very, very, very exciting. It's always exciting to be able to announce something like this. I look around and I see these trailers. They're older than the, my 25 years at the SCA, so it's time. Yes, yes. Tell us a little bit more about the project. Uh, when do you expect... Uh, expected to go up and okay. what is it going to offer? Sure. Uh, well, we expect the project to go into design immediately mm -hmm. and design on a, t a project like this takes about a year. This will be a complete full service annex. There will be 476 seats, uh, pre-K to five. There will be all the amenities, cafeteria, kitchen, gym, um, parent room, everything you can think of and so we're really excited it's about time mm -hmm. and what is the cost of this project you, uh, you're still working on that we're still working on it because we really really need to uh, look at a number of things we have to look at not only do we look at the design of the building of course but the site work that's necessary and all of those other kinds of things so we will know that in a few months okay. and who's uh, helping you with the funding Oh, the funding is part of the, the city's uh, five-year capital plan. Oh, I see. It's already funded. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Anything else you would like to share with everybody? No, this is particularly exciting for me because this is the neighborhood I grew up in. Uh, and my granddaughter is a student here, so <laughs> it particularly makes me very happy. But more than that, I think getting rid of these old trailers and providing a real state-of-the-art facility for our kids. Aravella, I know you're excited, being that you're a mom, uh, what is it, three years old, your daughter? She's six and a half. Six! Oh my God! They grow fast, right? They do grow fast, and that's why today is such a beautiful day. I mean, we're going to be providing a whole new generation of children a new building. It, it's a conducive uh, learning environment where, from a young age, they understand that they're a part of a school and they're here to learn. Mm -hmm. What else would you like to share with us, as far as any any uh, bills that you're working uh, on? Uh, in the assembly? Um, well, right now I'm working on amending the ceiling law in New York State. When somebody has a criminal background, if they were um, a youthful offender, if they committed a crime when they were young, they should have an opportunity to have a clear record that mm -hmm. shouldn't hinder them from getting a job in the future, getting housing in the future, which oftentimes happens. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Easter is just around the corner, and would you like to uh, share your message? Absolutely. I wish everybody Kalo Pascha, Kalia Nasasi, and um, hopefully we'll have a beautiful spring. Principal Gordon Chang, I know today is your special day. Yes, it is. I am so thankful. Okay. How many years uh, you've been the principal here? This is my 16th year. Wow. So what, uh, what would you like to share to, uh, with us about uh, this new annex that is coming up soon? This annex will support our children, will support our school community, and provide the entire story area with a brand new school to meet the needs of our children. Mm -hmm. And how many children are you servicing now? Right now we're servicing 631. Wow. Mm -hmm. You're over capacity, right? Yes, we are. And how many years have you had these uh, trailers here? Over these, 20? These trailers have been here for more than 20 years. Wow. And you, your, your school uh, is pre-K to five, right? Pre-K to five. Mm -hmm. And you have like a diverse... Uh, we have a diverse population of students uh, from all over the world. Wow. Many languages are spoken here. Good, mm -hmm. good, good. Do you also teach the uh, English? Do you teach any uh, foreign languages our, like Greek? Our children are in, engaging in Greek immersion from oh, kindergarten. Good. And next year we will have kindergarten to fourth grade and we keep on growing every year. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, your special message for uh, Greek Easter this weekend? Uh, a glorious Easter with lots of blessing. PS85 uh, currently operates uh, at 140% capacity with more than 100 uh, pre-kindergarten and kindergarten students learning in what were intended to be short-term facilities, officially known as transportable classroom units. These trailers have been in place for decades, despite complaints that they lack proper heating, cooling, or technology for Western Queens students to learn in a constructive environment. This trend will end with a new 476-seat building, which will serve as an annex for PS85. Construction is scheduled to begin in 2020, as the project is currently in the design phase. A new gymnasium auditorium is included in the plan to replace older existing facilities. Costa, congratulations. Everybody is very proud of you today. Um, the community, the elected officials, you've been working very hard to remove all these trailers from schools. And this is, is this the last school? This is the last school in my council district that we're finally going to see uh, these trailers here that have been over here over 20 years. Uh, you know, the kids who are first in these trailers are now eligible to vote. <laughs> you know, it's, it's time for them to go. They're not in good condition. They were meant to last only five years. And today we're announcing a brand new 476 seat school right here at PS85 to replace the trailers. The five-year capital plan for the school construction authority. Uh, you know, we, we were growing as a neighborhood and they had seats allocated to this neighborhood and you know, we were able to allocate uh, you know, make sure that we fought to have them right here because the kids, this school is at 140% capacity. Yes. 107 kids are in these trailers right now that are 20 years old. Mm -hmm. You know, it's time for them to get to, to, to go. So, you know, with this brand new 476 seat, state of the art, you know, gymatorium, all the bells and whistles of a brand new building, mm -hmm. you know, we'll be able to get these kids out of the trailers, have space for PS85 to grow, and then as a the neighborhood grows, have the additional school seats that we need that's going to alleviate overcrowding. So it's going to be a win-win-win for everybody.
And by 2023 should be ready, right? Yeah, I mean, it, you know, they're going to be in design for a year, mm -hmm. and then they're going to start construction next year. So in 2020, we'll see shovels in the ground, which will be ex amazing. Yeah. And then by 2023, which isn't that far away, yeah. scary as that sounds. Yeah, I know. <laughs> But 2023, we'll see a, you know, that, that state-of-the-art building right here, and you know, the kids in our neighborhood will be able to enjoy it. Uh, we're celebrating Earth Day this uh, month, and I know you passed a lot of bills. Uh, uh, you want to share something with us as far as all these bills that you're pushing through? You know, the Climate Mobilization Act that we just passed last week uh, is the largest emissions reduction bill in the history of not just New York City, but any city anywhere. Mm -hmm. Um, you're talking about the equivalent of taking almost a million cars off the road through what we've been able to accomplish. And it'll be regulating the biggest polluters, uh, large, large buildings that are over 25,000 square feet that are uh, responsible for a third of our emissions, mm -hmm. which is insane. Um, so we, you know, that pollution won't be in our air. Our kids will breathe easier. And so it'll how be is it going to be done? You want to explain to us some of the doesn't understand how it's going to be done? So these large buildings, these 20 buildings over 25,000 square feet will have to retrofit by 2030 mm -hmm. and reduce their emissions by 40% by then. Mm -hmm. And they can do things, and we left it flexible, so building owners can choose their own path mm -hmm. that makes sense for their building and their envelope. Mm -hmm. um, but they have to get their pollution down, and by doing so, make our air cleaner and help us combat climate change and really be a benefit to all New Yorkers. Mm -hmm. Anything else you're working on? No, we're, we're going to, you know, we just had participatory budgeting uh -huh. and we had, you know, five winners. We had, uh, you know, water filling stations at our schools, Wi-Fi at uh, the Young Women's Leadership School, electrical upgrades at PS70, a uh, library upgrades at the Astoria branch and bus countdown clocks uh -huh. won. Uh, so there'll be more bus countdown clocks coming, which is great. Um, so I want to thank everybody who participated in, in participatory budgeting and, you know, this, you know, about putting it up to a vote, and now that's going to be funded in the June budget when that finishes up. Excellent. And of course, we're celebrating Easter this uh, weekend. Your uh, message? I just want to, you know, wish everyone, you know, from my family to yours, uh, have a wonderful Easter holiday, a blessed holiday. You know, and you know, of course, Actina and you, Elena, you and you know, thank you for being a great voice in the Greek American community, and all of us here at, in in this neighborhood appreciate <laughs> what Actina does. So happy Easter to you also. Thank you. Thank you.